is one of your core beliefs, the belief that you think you have to do it all by yourself. Well, we have that in common. I used to think that as well. And part of that for me is the immigrant mentality. It's partly being brown skinned in my country, not of origin. So there's a lot to unpack, but I think that no matter what your circumstances or societal conditioning has been, it's so easy to somehow get programmed into believing that you have to do it all by yourself. So let's take a look and find out why we think that and what we can do about it. My name is Sylvia Mordini and I'm the founder of Life Inspired. Welcome to my channel and welcome to this series called Inspired. So this belief that you have to do it all by yourself, if that comes from any sort of upper limiting or success and tolerance. So for instance, if you've had the experience of working hard, achieving a certain level of success, and then feeling as if it's either gonna be taken all away or you're a fraud or some sort of imposter, or you're gonna to have to constantly stay on track to struggle, then there may be self-sabotage, right? And a form of self-sabotage is not knowing how to resource properly, how not to ask for help or support. And none of us can do it alone. And what's interesting is that the most successful people in any industry have a whole squad behind them and they know that they can't do it alone. So what do they do? They invest, they invest in themselves because ultimately you are your most important ROI. Every dollar that you invest in yourself will give you a benefit that will pay off exponentially. There's a, a no value that you could even place on it because it's priceless. This investing in yourself. And that's where we see ourselves move from this victim mentality of thinking that we have to do it all by ourselves to sourcing the people, the resources that we need to gain the support that we're worthy of. And so I use that word on purpose because underneath there, when you excavate the why of this, why do I just continue to do it all by myself? Is there some fundamental belief that you're not worthy enough unless you do more and more and more and more um, and the other part of that is that any sort of ultra independence is, is a trauma response as well. So coming back to the solution, investing in yourself. Most of the time we invest in other people and other ideas. We're the first ones to like donate money to support our friends, but really look at the last two years, the last two years, 2020, 2021, and write down all of the money you spent invested in your self-development, in your personal growth. So I'll give you a moment, write down all of those things that you spent money on for your personal development, for your expansion, for your evolution, And for a lot of you, as you look at your list, there's probably not much there. Or for some of you, it might be a completely blank piece of paper, only to come to realize, wow, that's interesting. With all the chaos of the last two years swirling around me, I forgot to invest in myself. Myself, my most important ROI is me. And so I find that really a compelling argument for, well, let's do something about that now. Let's look at a plan, a strategy of investing in yourself for the remainder of this year. And as you map out each month or each quarter, 
you could map it out and say, this is the value, this is the money that I'm going to spend on myself and my personal development. Or you could look at it in terms of first, just figure out what is it that you want? Where do you have needs? What do you want to expand and grow in your life? Right? And then write those things down and then figure out the cost. So a lot of times people will start with the cost first and, and I get that. And I'm not saying that's wrong. I'm not saying it's right either, but if it's always about the money and not about your development and your expansion, then it will pollute the outcome because we'll start to try to fit what we kind of need, sort of need into that particular dollar figure, rather than just starting off and saying, let's have an honest assessment. These are the things that I need right now. These are the people that I want to learn from. These are the credentials, the certifications, the workshops, the trainings that I want in order to go to that next level of expansion, growth, and evolution for myself is we are all ascending. But again, we can't do it by ourselves. And it's so much easier if we just accept support from the people and resources around us, but get clear on what it is that you want, right? And, and if you write that all out, now at least it's not just hanging there, pulling energy from you. You can see that the story that you've made in your head is a whole lot more complicated and it's always, it seems like it's all so much more expensive when it's a story in our head. But when you write it down on paper and we're looking at reality, now it's like, oh, okay, that's doable, <laughs> right? Now, to give you some context, right now, I have a one-on-one -on -one coach. I just finished a six-week blog boot camp with Yo Quiero Dinero, and I'm about to start another small group training for 12 weeks and another one-on-one -on -one coach. So those are just four examples of where I'm investing. And what I've seen over the years is if I lower my investment in myself, I don't feel as great. I don't feel as confident. My self-esteem starts to get a little wonky. My business doesn't do as well. And the types of relationships that I attract to my frequency are a little bit less. But if I invest in myself and if I look at the last 10 years and I go like, wow, look at where I invested the most. Those are the years and the times of my life where I'm doing the best. My business is easeful and easeful abundance and prosperity is coming in. I am attracting relationships at a higher frequency match. And I just feel so in love with my life. And if I let that investment go down, and obviously the, the return goes down, I can literally see the impact. I know when I've suffered over the last 10 years, you don't even have to tell me the years or the dates, I just know it's completely connected to whether or not I'm worthy of my own investment. And I know it's privilege. I get that. And I know that your parents very likely weren't making these kinds of investments in coaches and mentors and trainings and certifications ongoing. I understand that. But the past doesn't predict the future. What our parents did, what our grandparents did is not a driver for where we are in the world right now and what it is that we need. We need to make a bigger investment because more is being asked of us right now. And with that said, that investment is so 
so important for any of the light workers, the change makers that are trying to impact the world in a bigger way with your message. So you don't have to do it by yourself. You are not alone. Take a big breath in, hands over your heart. Exhale. How does that feel? With these two hands on your heart, can you promise to invest in yourself tomorrow? I know you know already where you would make that investment. I know the training that you've been looking at for years. I know the coach that you've been eyeing. I know the clarity calls you've already been on. I know you know. So can you just put yourself at the top of your list tomorrow? Make that investment. And then let me know how it's going. I'm a million percent certain that everything in your life is going to up level, elevate, and your frequency will also go supernova, up and up and up. It's been such a joy and a pleasure to be here with you today. Thank you for joining me. And if inspired, please subscribe. I would love that. And please tell your friends. From my heart to your heart to the heart of the universe, may you love yourself, love your day, and love your life.